What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric Smells and thank you once again for joining me here today. And in today's pickup slash comparison video, I did want to spotlight the um, Italian hiking brand Roa. Um, a lot of you definitely have definitely seen their uh, Andre's boot, which I conveniently picked up in this beautiful brown colorway. Um, and I did also purchase the um, Katharina low top. So this one's definitely like a newer, um, you know, within the last few seasons. So um, really super dope. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, show you some close ups of both of these guys. Um, just so you can get a feel for them. I did, by the way, I purchased both of these in the exact same size. So that's uh, EU 40, which translates roughly into a uh, US seven for men. So with hiking boots in general, or just any footwear really, you're gonna wanna get closer to true to size cause you don't really want, um, cause me personally, sometimes I will get half a size uh, higher in sneakers and stuff like that just for you know comfort, like so I can slip in and out. But when you're hiking out there, you're not really going to feel that going up the mountain or whatever, but on the way down, if you get, you know, too big, your foot's going to just like slide in and out, which is going to be really uncomfortable. It's going to probably cause some blisters and shit like that. So definitely something you don't want to happen. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just um, dive right into um, these guys. Then I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, fit picks that I, how I would personally wear them. I'm already going to know that I'm probably going to wear the low tops a little bit more um, on the daily compared to the boots. Um, you know, the boots probably going to be like for actual real deal hikes, uh, fall, winter and stuff like that too. So yeah, let's get right into it. Yet they both came in this identical box, but nothing crazy. Just a little bit of branding on that. Have this like cool mountain range pattern printed on it, but just your standard cardboard box. And once again, I did cop both of these in a size 40. So, so yeah, let's get right into it. Um, to start off, I'm probably going to kick it off with the more popular of the two. And that is the Roa Andres boot. And I did go ahead and I picked these up in a like beautiful coffee brown leather. And if you can see that like unique pattern on it, I was really curious myself to see what type of leather this was. And after a little bit of research... Um, turns out it is a kudu leather. So kudu, if you're uncultured like me, you know, we'll do better. But it is an antelope in uh, found in Africa, so southern Africa. So they have really, you know, crazy predators out there. They got just the harshest weather conditions. So they really have to develop such a thick hide. So I'm really curious to see how these are going to do long term. And it goes all the way up to like the ton, which is super dope. Some branding right there. And it's got this like cool, you know, that classic Italian out hiking kind of lacing system. Got the speed laces here too. You know, it makes it super easy to just in and out. So squishy inside. And and what's cool about a lot of their um, pretty much all their footwear get this rubberized like bottom half. So and it's really cool. It's like a tire or something, but it's slightly rougher on this one on the andres you got the back side got this suede back just regular pull tab got more branding there and then of course uh, along with all their footwear they do have it on a vibram sole so super fucking chunky like look at that I want to say uh, on the website it said they're mega grip. So if you were curious about specifically what Vibram sole they use for this, that was the Andre's boot. And uh, this new one that I'm actually really excited about, uh, like I said, is the Katharina. So more of a low top. And the biggest difference just right off rip is going to be instead of leather, it's this like really buttery suede. So super dope. Just found all along the other, the upper. And then, like I just said, it's got the rubberized bottom. And uh, unlike that one, which is like, you just saw it was like, yeah. So the Katharina looks like it's like the smoother tire rubber all around instead of that ruggedness. So let me see if the camera can pick it up. Yeah. And branding right there. And of course you got your Vibram same sole super chunky these are going to be like real deal so yeah i'll go ahead and the next few um 
I'm going to go ahead and put some fits together, how I would personally wear it. I'm going to go ahead and do like a casual fit and then maybe more of like a hiker, you know, like a gore core kind of fit, how you would wear this in the mountain or whatever if you're going on a hike. Um, and yeah, so let's get right into it. So for the first fit, I have the Roa Katharinas on feet. I just have some like generic ass like ankle length socks. Um, on my bottoms, I do have a pair of Uniqlo and Marnie collaboration that they did a few years ago. Um, they had some shorts that they released with that. I got a vintage Boondocks, um, I think it's a Huey <laughs> t-shirt. If anyone has Riley out there, please let me know and I'll definitely buy it off you. And I got it topped off with a uh, Fugazi uh, pillbox cap. So super dope, definitely a little more casual, something how I'd probably wear it from day to day. And for the second fit, I got the Uroa Katharinas once again on feet. And I do have a pair of jaded London parachute like cargo pants. Um, I can't get enough of these. I know <laughs> if you've seen one of my earlier videos, you probably have seen these, but um, I got a Uniqlo Thermo right under that. And I got my um, favorite Helly Hansen um, shell jacket and topped off with a capital bucket cap. So definitely something more, you know, like I'm going to be out in the mountains. I'm going to be, you know, casual height. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the styling portion of that video. Hopefully you did enjoy the close-ups of once again the Roa Katharina low tops as well as the classic uh, Andre's boots. Um, what did you guys think of them? You know, do you guys, are you guys sick of this like hiker kind of gorecore wave? Can you not get enough of it? I personally really love it just because it's, um, it's really practical as well apart from being really stylish and kind of like futuristic looking um, especially where I'm from I'm from Washington State so it's like really mountainous and you know pretty kind of all over the place weather so these are going to do really well up here but uh, yeah guys would you personally add you know any of these guys into your rotation how would you personally style them let me know in the comments I'd be really curious to see how about that and uh, what was your introduction into Roa you know if this is not your first time hearing about them um, for me personally, I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, the first time I heard of Roa was with the brand Alix. If you are familiar, oh, hold on, and I know the name off rip. Uh, 1017 Alix 9SM. Ha! Um, a lot of the earlier uh, seasons, their footwear was done in collaboration with Roa. So I personally did have a pair of the, um, the like the white roa boot with the um the snake skin on it i'll post a picture of it on here on screen too but super fire did have a pair of those um before they eventually moved into making all their footwear like in-house and stuff like that so a lot of that early stuff is really cool and apart from Alix, they they've also collaborated with uh, matthew williams so the creative director and founder of Alix. um he did a collaboration with like stussy and roa so it was like on the same exact uh, on the andre's boots and it was like all black with, and it was just muddied bottom. Had that like muddied kind of effect. That was pretty cool. Um, as well as like our legacy uh, workshop, they also did a collaboration with them on the same exact Tom the Andres boot. And I'll post a picture of all that too. So um, am I missing anybody? I feel like CDG might have had. No, I might be tripping. That might be Salomon. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think about them. Uh, shout out in the comments. Um, what should be my next shoe? Is there something that you're kind of curious about? Uh, until next time, guys. Peace.